Alrighty guys, just threw some gas in the boat and we're gonna head out. It is currently 9.30, so we're a bit late, but I think we're gonna get some fish. Uh, check this out. This is blowing in right now. It might not look too bad on camera, but I guess we're just gonna have to see how this goes. Um, we're just gonna totally wing it today. I don't know what we're gonna throw, if we're gonna throw live bait, artificial. We're just winging it today. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make a video today and uh, stay out as long as I need to catch some fish. So we're gonna go throw the boat in right now and uh, stay tuned, we're gonna catch some. Well, it did in fact turn out that the uh, big cloud at the gas station was rain, so now we're just waiting it out. And I don't know how long I'm gonna be sitting here for for this rain to stop, but. <sighs> All right, guys, well, we have made it onto the water right now, and uh, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple today. We're gonna focus on, well, tarpon and snook, but I think I'm gonna start off looking for finger mullet. We're gonna find them, throw them in the live well, and uh, Hopefully we're gonna whack some fish today. I know of some bigger sized tarpon that are sitting kind of out in the open in the river. Uh, they kind of, they're weird. I mean, they come and go. I mean, bigger 50, 60 pounders usually aren't like tight into structure. They're kind of, a lot of times they'll sit out in the open and that's kind of what I want to target today. But if that doesn't work, I guess we'll, you know, chuck mangroves and docks and look for snook and, and maybe smaller tarpon or even reds and stuff like that. But main priority right now is finding some mullet. So let's go ahead and go do that. All right, we're gonna drop this guy in the water here. I found some mullet kind of on this flat right here. Unsure if they're gonna be easy to get or difficult. Sometimes mullet can be a pain. So if you're ever trying to get mullet and you're like, how does Justin do it so easy? It's never easy. It's really never. But every now and then you get you get a nice, get 20 a piece or whatever, but. They're good sized ones too. <sighs> Alright, it's a good throw. That's like nine probably. Baby sheep's head. How cool is that? Look how tiny. Alright, I did just knock out. Oh, I gotta put the tube in here. I did just knock out a few of these smaller mullets, so I got an assortment of sizes. We got the little ones, we got, you know, your medium sized ones, but I'm gonna split them up in the two different live wells here. I got two live wells, one right there, one right here. And uh, this is gonna fill up with water here. We're gonna put the little guys in here and uh, keep those bigger ones in the other one. Get those guys in there, get this filling up, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a few more of those and then we'll be loaded up for the day to pretty much catch whatever I need to catch or whatever I wanna catch. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to run again. I just I just got done loading up on bait, got to my first spot, and like it just like a wall right behind me uh, of just black storm clouds and rain or whatever. But I'm gonna have to make a run, hang out for a little bit, and then come back on the tarpon. But this is just it's tough. This is how summer fishing is, and I gotta make videos, so I gotta be out here, and this is the stuff I gotta deal with. But I gotta run right now. It's getting kind of cold, and you guys know what that means. All right, we are finally getting the opportunity to fish here. We'll grab one of our little mullet we'll start off with, and I'm gonna try to get a juvie tarpon just to get the day started. Been running from storms for like the past hour or whatever. And uh, I'm ready to just catch something. So we're gonna check on up, we're gonna check up on some juvie tarpon that like to sit under the trees right in front of me. I'm gonna rig this little guy. Look how tiny. Had these in the last video. Check out the last video if you didn't get a chance, but threw these guys around for tarpon. We're just gonna, Gotta keep that trend going. Let me hop up here. See if I can locate them. They just love rolling up under the mangroves and stuff over here, so we'll see if they're there. Yep, there they are rolling right underneath that dock. Hopping and rolling under there. Come on. Trying to make a great cast. That was good. Oh! Instant. My track's so loose. That was the second it hit the water. Oh! <laughs> Man! That was the second it. Oh! 
the second that mullet hit the water. Make the right cast, get the fish. About to jump in the boat here. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Little guy. But that's exactly what I was looking for. Little, little three, four pounder here. All right. Successful first fish of the day there. I mean, when you can get those little mullet, these little tarpon absolutely crush it. That's a very clean tarpon. Clean, shiny, perfect. But let me see, are they still rolling here? Probably, I could probably get another one then we'll go try to find some, maybe some bigger ones, but get this circle hook out. All right, circle hook out. And what I do usually with tarpon is just spin them around. Little tarpon, big tarpon, it's a different story, but spin them around, grab their tail and they shoot off there. As long as you leave them in the water, just keep them, you know, Take good care of them is really all i'm trying to say here Ooh, all right well i only have a couple of those little those little tiny mullets so let me see if i can get another one out Are they still rolling i hear the little oh, pops under those trees so i'm sure he's got friends here all right i decided to creep around the other side of the dock i got mine right in like where the dock meets the mangrove line a lot of fish always love that area but sneak up sneak back up in here all right I'll flick one up under there. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Something's under him. My tarpon just rolled right there. It's almost chasing him. Not that tarpon that rolled, though, for sure. Oh, another one right there. Something's under mine, I think. Tarpon gotta be just sitting under there. Ooh, yep, right there. Drop him in there, swim through the dock. Oh! <laughs> They're under there. Oh! It just never gets old, regardless of what the tarpon is, or even the fish, just fish blasting a, a bait on the surface. Dude, they're loaded up here. Toss back under there. Never gets old, them blasting on the surface. Oh! Thank you. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. He skied on that bait. I need that. I need like a big lens and then just put that in slow-mo of them jumping out of the water on the mullet. Pitch it up into the tree there. See if anyone's home under there. Oh, heard something blow up back in the trees. Oh, that's a good one. The tarpon is weird. He's not jump. Oh, there's a jump. <laughs> He just came up and slurped him and then didn't jump when I pulled. Oh, now he's jumping. Didn't jump when I pulled tight, which is kind of weird. A lot of times when you pull tight, that's when they make their first jump. It kind of looked funny though. I was like, do I have a, tar a tarpon or a trout or what is that? It's a little bit bigger than the last one. Definitely a tad bit bigger. Another really pretty fish though. I think maybe I hooked him in like the bottom of the mouth or something. That's why he's kind of behaving differently. But one of the coolest fish, without a doubt, is the tarpon. Yeah, I did hook him in the bottom of the mouth. That's probably why he just didn't jump right. Let's see if I can land. Oh, all right, we still got him. Now oh, he's jumping like crazy. After this guy, we're gonna go see if we can find some bigger ones. Oh, and there he is, number two. I feel like a little bit skinnier sized tarpon, but go ahead and put this guy back in the water look at those giant eyes one of the coolest fish for sure but i have to say i think i like snook more than tarpon <laughs> simple as that see ya all right let's uh let's head out of here and move on to the next spot and see if i can find maybe a bigger tarpon maybe 15 plus pounds maybe even a snook we just got to make a move because i just don't want to mess with the little guys all day long they're awesome but got to give them a break all right, I got two really nice snooks sitting right here. I'm not sure if they're big enough. Three of them, a bunch of big snooks sitting here. 
Drop the mullet in there, see if they see it. Took off. Oh, one got it. One's on it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. I'm trying to get it. He's trying. Come on. He's on it. <laughs> He's chasing it around, but will not hit it again. There's like five snook there. I hope that I didn't use too big of a mullet. Nah, he should be able to eat this. It's not on it anymore. He dipped off. Ah. Oh, guys, it is currently 6.30. I'm just trying one last thing. It has been an absolute grind today. I'm going to try to figure out at least one or two more fish. But tough day, man. Just running from storms left and right. And trying to figure something out. It's, it's hot. It's late in the summer. There's... Fishing is tough for sure, but I'm gonna see if I can grab one more fish. I got another storm coming in right here, which doesn't look too fun, but we're gonna try to get one more fish. All right, my last hope for today. Came back into this canal here and there's a ton of juvie tarpon in this little pocket right here. I'm throwing this little fluke, little fluke white, um, but yeah, you can see them rolling back there. Um, my last hope for today i'm gonna get into making video oh, they're going crazy there's actually a ton of them i'm gonna try to make more videos where i'm uploading the video regardless of how it goes because that's true oh. swung on it yep 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 come on but i'm basically gonna make a lot more videos and i'm gonna upload them regardless of how they go if i catch one fish um, it's gonna be a video if i catch two fish it's gonna be a video for a long time i pretty much just you know if the video wasn't great or to my standard of what i considered good i just wouldn't upload it just would never see the light of day so here's the first one where i would consider a fish right here hold on this will consider the first one where it was just a tough day but that's how it goes i'm still gonna get a tarp in here i feel it oh yep someone's on it Look at all this tarpon eat. Dude, nothing is tricking these fish. <laughs> man, I'm sitting here. <laughs> what a day, man. <laughs> Oh, what a day. I'm sitting here throwing over and over for at tarpon, and of course, this thing eats the last thing I was expecting. There we go. Add a second species to the day. I cannot get a tarpon here to save my life. There's like some sort of outflow. Look at all the tarpon go. Outflow of just water pushing out into the river. I guess because it rained today, obviously. And fish are just huddled around it ready to eat. And there's tons of tarpon. But hey, I'll take a snook. I will take a snook. I feel like it's been a while since I caught a snook this tiny. That's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish, especially today. I find all the fish at the end of the day. Funny how that works. <laughs> Blop them back in. Oh, well, guys, I am calling the video here. I was... Oh, check that out. You guys probably can't see that. The shark just swam by. But right here is where there's just fish after fish rolling, and I just can't beat them. <laughs> I mean, I just cannot beat those baby tarpon. Like, they will not, they will not eat. I've tried pretty much everything I have in the boat couldn't get it to work but today's just one of those days where i'm just gonna get started and start uploading anything like anything 
any any day out fishing i'm gonna make a video on it so hope you guys enjoyed this one maybe you learned something questions comments concerns leave them down below and uh yeah it's just been tough fishing recently that's about it um i weird looking catfish right there hi <laughs> right, we'll see you guys in that next video